Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining today. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, new features in uh, PHP Runner and ASP.NET 10.91. So the main changes that we introduced in this update are related to working with uh, third-party REST APIs. So as you know, the REST API is a like modern way to work with data. The problem is with the REST APIs is that uh, every company have the own understanding. Every API provider had like their own vision of how REST API should work. And sometimes it is not very easy to fit everything into uh, UI of our software to support multiple different options. So in this update, we just introduced like a bunch of uh, smaller but interesting new options that will help you navigate uh, third-party REST API connections. So let's take a look at this. Uh, in this project, uh, we use uh, we work with uh, two different REST APIs. One is Airtable, and another one is our own REST API hosted on demo account. So we can show you like both ways of dealing with that. Uh, we will start with uh, Airtable. When you connect a list operation in a REST API, you now have uh, two, uh, two additional options, filter REST API data and reorder REST API data. What does it mean? Uh, when we filter data, sometimes many REST API providers will provide you an option to perform a search on their site. Uh, they have like uh, certain parameters that you can use to run a search, I don't know, like by company name, uh, in case of a job, uh, applicant name, etc. But sometimes they simply don't have that option. And we have to retrieve the whole data set and filter it on our site. So this option, filter REST API data, it uh, tells PHP Runner or SPRunner.net if we have to filter data on our site and compared to letting REST API provider do that on their site. So this option is turned on by default and this is the way it should be. Uh, there is also a little bit of explanation here. And you should disable this option if you want to show all the data that the REST API provider returns. So, uh, basically, the same thing applies to reorder REST API data. Uh, some REST API providers will allow you to sort data on their site, and some won't. And if you need to show data in a sp specific order, you can now do it uh, specifying the initial sort order in this dialog. So it makes sense, for instance, to show data coming from Airtable, to show news records on the top. And this is why we choose to sort it by created time, descending order. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the update functionality. So, uh, Airtable expects us, when we update data, to send it in a JSON format. It comes with a multi-record update functionality. You can update multiple records at once, which means uh, there is a structure. Okay, let me copy and paste the sample JSON to Notepad so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, take a look at this. This is the structure. So records is an array and it can hold multiple records. So we can update multiple records at once. So previously we had to do all of this 
in the code we, we had to switch to to the php or c sharp code mode now you can do it uh, this way you can refer to any field on your edit page or add page the same way you refer to pretty much everywhere else using semicolon and uh, field name in uh, curly braces and uh, filter that id is a reference to id column the same thing can be done in the code as well some people would like it like to do it visually some people would like to do it in the code let me show you how the code looks to generate it first okay so this is the most interesting part first of all we need to specify that we will be sending data in a json format and then this is the actual code that prepares the json so again some people would like it this way some people would like to do it in a visual way in either case uh, now you have more control over the way how you update or add data and you can handle uh, more complicated rest apis without writing any code so if you remember we have like air table tutorial which requires you to write a little bit of the code for uh, update insert and delete operations now you don't need to do this so uh, the idea is that now we have uh, many more options additional options to handle third-party rest apis and you just uh, can do much more compared to what you could do previously that's all it's uh, kind of pretty simple so let's take a look uh, some rest apis return data in the format that is uh, okay let's say it's uh, difficult to handle let me show you an example for instance uh now you can uh for we have, uh, date fields now you can specify date format so like uh, the regular format is uh year month date this is how database expected but some rest apis may return it in a totally different format so what you can do here depending on what format your REST API returns data in you can specify this format here and PHP runner will be able to parse it and process accordingly again uh, you could do that previously in your code like parse date values manually and do something with them now you don't need to do that at all uh, this is something that is very specific to ER table they have an option to uh, filter your data but it's not like a regular database search it's more like excel like the parameter name when you perform the search is called uh, filter by formula it looks really weird if you ask me but this is their syntax not ours again this is something that was not available before next uh there is a new event called process record this is a new event that happens right after we retrieve data from the database or from rest api or from a sql sql view what this event does uh, right after data is received from the database uh, you can format it in a different way parse it and uh, specify uh, the format uh, the idea is you can only do you only need to do this once uh, this event applies to all database operations so it doesn't matter what kind of page is that is it list page view page edit page 
you can use it to uh, format your data in any way uh, and there is more, one more thing i wanted to show you in regards to new events it applies to add and edit pages uh, specifically before record edit or before record updated events so we have a new parameter here called uh, sql values right here and uh, what it does if you want to use if you use mysql database and you want to use mysql sql expression in your code uh, previously you would have to create the whole sql query now you can do just using sql values and take a look at the code like this for instance action date value instead of specifying date uh, in uh, php or c sharp code you can uh, tell it to use uh, uh, mysql expression so it will take the current date at uh, two weeks and save it in the action date field.